All right, this is our level eight wrap up and taking level nine. We finally uh, completed everything. It was a big level. Uh, we ran a lot of content. We were maxed out on XP for most of it. Uh, we ran all the level fours on Reaper, except the ones that couldn't be run on Reaper. We ran those on Elite. We skipped one quest, which was proof of the poison. Proof is in the poison, which will be run uh, at a higher level as part of our favorite cleanup. We ran all the level fives on hard. We ran the Thranal Chain on normal to get our cloak. Uh, we ran Delira's on Delira Chain on hard. Uh, and that's about it. So the next level is going to be very similar. We're going to have a lot to do. And then after that, it should kind of calm down. All right. So let me, this is going to be a big level because we get a feat. Per our usual, we're going to put two ranks to disable, two ranks to search, one rank to spot, and our spot's falling a little behind. We're almost four behind now, but that's okay. We're, we seem to be doing like okay on our spot. I think we miss it once in a while, but if we miss it, we we catch it on the uh, search end. So for uh, offensive, or for we're going to take for martial feats, or for our feet, we're going to take. Uh, Improved two-handed fighting. We have both improved two-handed fighting and improved proof critical available, but we want to take improved two-handed fighting. And we have a, a keen weapon we're going to use, and we uh, have a just enough strength to do this. This strength is based on our feats and our tomes. We don't have any tomes, but we have exactly, we started with 15. We put two ranks, level up ranks to strength to give us this minimum. Alright, so we got an interesting weapon in the auction house. Um, at first I was surprised to see it, but then I realized um, the reason why is because Echo of Black Razor is really a much better weapon. Uh, and uh, that's really what we want to strive for, but you know, being this is our first, first life, we don't have it yet. So this is going to be our weapon. Uh, you can see it's a plus three keen Vorpal. It has a red slot. We don't have anything in it at the moment or where to put in it. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a pretty good, it's a good weapon. Uh, the main thing is that we don't have improved critical yet, and keen gives us basically the equivalent of improved critical. So that's the main benefit of this weapon. A lot of builds would, by level nine, have improved critical uh, if they're either all fighter, all paladin, all ranger levels. Um, or some mixture of those three, they, they get the full base stack bonus. They would have improved uh, two-handed fighting uh, at level six, and then um, improved critical at nine, and then greater two-handed fighting at 12. Um, so for us, this is a good weapon. We still want to get the Echo of Black Razor from White Plume Mountain. Uh, we're not going to you know, it, we're, we're gonna we're not even really ready to run on normal and hard yet, but we probably could run on normal and hard. But those drop rates are not so good, so um, this will be a good enough weapon until we get that weapon. Uh, we also will get, for effectively, no, you know, guaranteed, we'll get a Morning Lord weapon next level as well. That's also really a better weapon, except uh, the improved critical that comes with this weapon might be beneficial to us all right so that's really the only thing we're dragging out for this level is this is now going to become our main weapon um, even though it doesn't yet have the augment in it and then this is going to go to our uh, to our bank character once I repair um, we could take a look and see I mean a lot of our our gear has been pretty good the last few levels, especially these last couple levels. But you can see it's starting to get a little bit dated, a lot of level. We have a lot of level 5 here, actually. So um, some of this we got higher than level 5. It's kind of interesting. Most of it is level 5. Um, uh, this is not our main goggles. This is our main goggles. So we'll see what we can do. Um, we'll just see what's available. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to limit the, uh, the the level range here to seven and nine to nine because we have a lot of gear that's level five. I mean, I guess I could say six to nine since we have a lot of level level five gear. And um, I'll take a look again at weapons just because we've had pretty good luck. We found I think our two keen weapons in the auction house. Um, wow, well this is interesting. Because this would get us around uh, around the damage reduction for demons. So I think it's definitely worth 4,000. So I'm going to go ahead and bid on this. I mean, the assassinate's no good, but just getting around damage reduction on a Reaper is pretty key. Uh, even if it's only used for, you know, a couple of select quests. Let me take a look at, uh, you know, simple weapons. Specifically quarterstaffs. Well, we could afford this. I don't know that it's really that big of a deal for us. It doesn't have any sort of improved critical range or extra base damage. Uh, slay living on a 20. And body feeder. Um, it's interesting, but I, I don't think we probably want to pay 75,000 for that. And the rest is all caster weapons. So no real weapons. Uh, we could take a look at jewelry. Uh, really would like to upgrade some of these, uh, you know, if we could find any, some of these resist and absorbs for elements on the same spot, that's really nice. Or if we could just upgrade any of our items, that'd be good. Uh, it becomes a bit of a Tetris, uh, a little, little bit of gear Tetris trying to replace an item because when you lose something from that item, then you have to, you know, replace that. This is interesting. It looks just like what we had, but worse. Uh, oh no, not death block. It's electric resorb. All right. So alkaline acid resist, 15% and 12, and we have 15% and nine. Um, hmm, I'm gonna say it's not worth it for three. Let's see what else we have. Chaos Guard is interesting, but we're seeing a lot of named items in here. That's very unusual. Uh, let's see. Con 4. Yeah, that's not nothing too, too bloodstone. Well, we can't afford it, but... Um, this is another thing we could potentially look at getting in Sands. Uh, Seeker Deception Accuracy, that's not a bad a bad item. It's certainly not worth what they're charging for it. Alright, so nothing nothing really we have, you know, we found a better ring, but um, not good enough. To, you know, not, not, it wasn't enough benefit to really upgrade. much we're coming up a little bit dry on the gear but that's okay I mean it's you know sometimes you can find stuff sometimes you can't and what we have now is not awful it's just starting to get a little bit dated the stats are just a little bit a little bit light hmm. wow I've been selling these to the vendor maybe maybe there's more uh, interest in these than I realized Well, we're probably not going to be limiting ourselves to, uh, you know, 5,000 as we have in the past. Um, but, you know, but still I'm going to want to make sure that we're, you know, spending it wisely if we're going to go over. Mighty 5, Deadly 3. Let's see if we're at an odd number for strength. We are, so 
that might be an upgrade from what we have. Um, you know, it sort of makes the strength here useless, but uh, it's a pretty good upgrade to this glove, which is which is um, five three. I'd love it to be five five, but you know, it's just not. So, all right. So now we're out of our price range, but just curious to see what else is on here. Uh, it's kind of funny how some of these expensive items are really no better than the cheaper ones. I mean, this we're, we're six and three, and this is seven and three. Certainly not worth uh, another two hundred seventy-nine thousand. Definitely overpriced. So, but I think I'm going to pick up these since my strength. Um, I mean, I'd rather see a higher deadly on here. Let me just check deadly real quick. Make sure I'm not missing something. Nope. Well, it's the best we have right now. It gets us uh, to an even number. So I'm going to go ahead and get it. And that's probably going to be it for purchases. Let's take a look at, we'll grab this item and then take a look at, uh, uh, here's our greatsword. We'll lock this, lock this, and place it. And so now we should be at an even number for strength. Yeah, 24. So that'll give us plus one attack, plus one damage. Um, let's take a look at our enhancements. Alright, so we have four points, and I'm thinking this is the right time to really start focusing on uh, improving our self-healing. It's probably the weakest thing that we have. Um, we chaotic out evil outsiders. We are facing some of them, but not too many. And on Vorpal, we kill them with our weapon, so that's probably not needed right now. That's always useful. Um, plus one and plus one damage. The other part's not so much. So I'm going to say that really probably this 30 healing amp, uh, and then maybe 20 healing amp from humans. So that's going to give us... Before I do this, let me close this. And So if I do my uh, Cure Light Empowered, it's a 21. It's a little bit disappointing. So it seems like it's a 21 every time, so 24. So it's it's a range. Now let's now when I make this upgrade, oh, not this one, want this one and this one. So that's 30 healing amp, and this one's 20 healing amp. So that's should give us 100. Should give us 10, 50 percent more. So we should be seeing 30s. No, not 30s, but there's 30s. So yeah, you can see the numbers are much bigger. And so I think that's going to be our focus for now, and uh, we'll we'll work on the uh, healing aspect of that soon. Uh, if we take a look at our Reaper enhancements, we're about 3,500 away from our next point. Our next point is probably going to go to Reflex Save. Uh, we really want to get that six point because that six point gives us another 20 hit points plus the eight for the for the point spent. So 28 hit points is a pretty big. Pretty big, pretty big carrot for us. Uh, we're at level nine, so we could we could take that now if we had the points. But uh, you know, because we're running four levels over and we have to run normal hard first, um, you know, it's it's just a little bit slower progression. It's going to pick up, especially by our third life when we're running two levels over and getting all that bravery bonus as part of it as well. But we're still making good progress. Um, you know, with, with the three points, that's. Uh, just for the three points spent, that's 24, and then 10 for this, so 34 hit points uh, for what we've done is really not bad. I mean, considering we're at 210, right? So that's like a 15%, over a 15% improvement.
feel pretty good about feel pretty good about the potions. I'm gonna go ahead and beef up the uh, poison a little. Oop. Curse. We'll just add three to get to twenty. Poison, let me add nine. So that's pretty good, and, and I think I'd like to uh, bring these up to 50. So we'll bring uh, 15 heroism potions, seven haste. And I guess that's from the other place. Let's get raised dead scrolls first. Let me see what, what, what our chances are in resurrection. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably not too good. Minimum level 11, so we can't, it's actually not bad, 65%, so I think we will want to go there once we can. And we're at 95% of raised dead, so I'm going to go ahead and get 16 more of these. And then we'll just uh, fill up on our Splendor potions, and I think we're good, 200 tools should be fine. But I'll just keep an eye on that. If that tips below 100, I'll stock back up to 200. So I think we're I think we're good on consumables. Uh, I think we're ready to go. So um, so that's it. Uh, level nine. Level nine is going to be a big level. Uh, we're going to run the level fives on Reaper one. Level six is on normal and hard. We're going to we're going to run the um, uh, Sorrow Dusk Island chain on normal and hard because we'll be running on Reaper. The first one's on Reaper next next level, so that's that's uh, that'll be interesting because we're level eight or level nine, and, and the highest level quests are level ten. So running those in hard will be interesting to see what the uh, you know how the higher levels scale uh, compared to us. And we are really really getting desperate for bank space. So the other thing I'm planning on doing is running enough House Kundarik favor. Uh, we're going to run the level sixes on Reaper. And then we're going to run um, any level, or level fives on Reaper, any level sixes on normal and hard. And so whatever extra favor we need, uh, the, my, my plan is to run anything up through level nine on normal. And maybe a few extras on hard just to get us enough favor to to get to uh, that first pack from House Kandara because we're... It's about what we need. I mean, I'd like to offload about four or five things to the bank. Um, and so that might even be the first thing I do. I'll just have to lay it out a little bit and figure it out. But that might be the first thing I do is try to get my House Kandarik favor sorted out. All right. Well, uh, that's it. Level 8 was fun. Level nine's looking to be fun. And we are ready to start questing again. <laughs>